once again a very breezy morning. It's Monday the 28th of February, the last day of February. This year is going very quick. Doesn't seem that long since uh, Christmas. It's flying by. But we've got to move. We're leaving Audlem this morning. Popping into Overwater. Uh, we need to use the laundry. We do have quite a bit of washing. Unfortunately a pen has leaked on one of the duvets. Oh, let's get out of this wind a bit. Um, so we do have quite a bit of washing, a bit of ink's gone, a lot of things. So we're going to use the laundry, we're going to use the Elson Point, we're going to fill up with water and we're probably going to get a bit of lunch there as well. Um, always nice to pop into Overwater, really friendly staff. It's, a, it's an immaculate marina. And then we're going, yeah, you know where, Cool Pilot, our favourite. We're going to have a night or two at Cool Pilot. Um, yeah, and then on to Nantwich. So here we go again. Same waters, I'm afraid, but... I'll try and put a twist on it. And there's Steve's boat, slow boat through Britain. Yes, us boaters, we're all getting a bit sick of these strong winds that uh, we're having. It's uh, not easy to navigate, and for us vloggers, it's a pain in the backside because you get that horrible wind noise. But it is what it is. All moored up in the marina now, but oh, sorry about this wind noise. Uh, I think it's always polite just to go and explain to the staff here where I am and what I'm doing before I start putting water and everything in. Uh, give them the pontoon number that I'm moored at, just in case it's someone's pontoon. I don't want a boat coming in and not having anywhere to, to moor up, so off to the office. Well, that's that done. All booked in. They're happy. I'm happy. Let's go and get the water going and get stuff sorted. And I've just bumped into a subscriber. A gentleman called Ray. So, hiya Ray. <laughs> yeah, you can hear the gully pump chucking the water out from the shower. Uh, the little ones are having a shower here when I'm topping up water, it just makes sense. Um, yeah, the reason why boats have those gully pumps is that the shower tray where it sits in the boat is below the actual drainage pump, where we can put a hole if you like. Um, the kitchen basin and the sink have a drainage hole that goes out of the side of the boat and it has to be by regulation a certain height above the water and because the shower tray is below the hole excuse me, the hole, gravity won't take the, paint, the, the water out, so you need a pump, hence the gully pump. Well, I've done the Elson, water's done, and now we're at the laundrette. There's Nicky, we're going to put uh, a couple of loads of washing on, get it done and save having it all over the boat. And we may even have a fry up, will we? Won't we? That's it now, all the jobs are done. Uh, we're good to go. Just collected the washing from the laundrette, so it's all nice and dry. Saves it being all over the boat. So uh, yeah, that's good, but the wind's getting up. There's some very threatening clouds up there, and there are storms forecast, so I want to get to Cool Pilot before it really comes down. Let's go.
once again a nice stay at Overwater. Mission accomplished and it started to rain as soon as I've come out on the canal. Uh, it doesn't matter, we've got plenty of water and that. I'll just get in the shower, it's no biggie. Uh, and it's not as cold as it has been today, uh, which is nice. But yeah, it was great. And we had cake there. Mm, lovely. And we also had a little bit to eat and we bumped into a lovely fella, unfortunately. I didn't get your name, but uh, you had a beautiful dog called Lily and it looked very much like Primrose. And all the doggies got on well. It was really nice to meet you, fella. Really nice. And uh, I'll look out for you around the cut. You can see here that the sidings on the canal on both sides are concrete so your wash won't do any damage. So I have got chugs on quite high revs at the moment trying to get to Cool Pilot before this storm comes in. Um, I'm not going to do any damage. Uh, obviously if it's a soil embankment uh, on the canal you can have nesting birds there especially with spring just around the corner and you can wreck their nests and do some damage to the canal side. It's always a no-no for me. Um, so if there are soil uh, embankments, I tend to slow down. It doesn't matter what the weather's doing. I don't want to wreck nests and everything, but here it really doesn't matter. Yes, you can see you can generate quite a wash. Can you imagine the damage that would do to a nesting bird's nest? Not good. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's always a welcome sight on a cold day. Smoke coming out the chimney. Uh, yeah, Nikki's just lit the fire. It's a lovely smell. So comforting, and it's a weird, in a, in a funny sort of way, it is really comforting. Very nice. And that's something that you see quite a lot. One lone tree in the middle of a field. At one time, of course, there would have been loads of trees over there, but they were cleared to make farmland. Oh, hundreds of years ago, they were cleared. But they always used to leave well, at least one tree. And that was for shielding from the sunlight in the summer for the cattle or the sheep or whatever's in the field, or indeed the farmer himself. And another thing, they, they used to use it, allegedly, to put the ropes round to pull all the other trees out of the way. They used it as a sort of pulley. And if you go to some of the trees, you can still see the indentations where the ropes went round them. just goes to show I'm not the only idiot out on the water today. We've got a boat behind us. <laughs> just that bridge up ahead and we're at Cool Pilot. Yes, I got it wrong. There is another bridge yet. <laughs> Before you all write in. Well, here we are at our destination. There appears to be a few boats here. So, yeah, on the last couple of times we've been here, we've had Cool Pilot all to ourselves. 
not that it matters, it's all for sharing. Uh, and it's nice to see boats out on the move. Um, mostly now liverboards, but uh, we are starting to see some higher boats out on the waterways. And it's always nice to see them. Well, we're moored up. And Bella's out. <laughs> there is actually quite a few boats on the move. There's one just coming up past us. No, just up there. Um, yeah, I've had enough for today. So we're moored up at uh, our favourite place, Cool Pilot. I'm going to go in and get a nice hot drink. It's starting to get cooler. I'm very wet. <sighs> Let's see what tomorrow brings. Hi. It is, isn't it? Every day's a nice day for it. You haven't got far to go. <laughs> What a beautiful morning. It's an absolutely beautiful morning. It's Tuesday, the 1st of March. Happy St. David's Day. Patron Saint of Wales. So happy St. David's Day. Yes, uh, we weren't going to be cruising today. We were going to enjoy another day here at Cool Pilot. Um, Nikki's just checked the weather. Um, and apparently after today, it's going to be raining till Saturday. We haven't got supplies till Saturday. So we've decided to move to Nantwich. We're going to start cruising. If you can hear shooting, it's a shooting range. There's a large shooting school over here. So that's what the banging is. Yeah, so we've decided to cruise. Um, I say we didn't want to. Uh, oh, it's just beautiful. That mist this morning when we woke up and looked out the window was breathtaking. It was lovely still morning there's uh, no movement in the water whatsoever it's perfect no no wind funnily enough i'll tell you what come with us and we'll get moving to Nantwich. It's very difficult to film when the sun's behind you. Um, if I put my camera here, you can just see a silhouette, which is probably better. I know. Um, never mind. Uh, yeah, we were sitting down this morning having our lovely cup of coffee, and our piece was disturbed by a very loud splash and some very loud meowing. Yes, Bella had fallen into the canal again. This is the ninth time, and she actually did quite a bit of damage. Uh, when I pulled her out, I couldn't reach her head. So I literally had to sacrifice my hand and uh, put my hand in and she just put her claws straight into my hand and as you can see, did some damage. That really, really hurt. So I'm in a bit of pain this morning. Uh, at, obviously, antiseptic wipes, washed it thoroughly. But yeah, um, oh, what a morning. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're thinking about rehoming Bella. Um, Nikki got Bella for one simple reason. She was talking to a chap on the canal in Nantwich, um, and he was sort of threatening to get rid of a cat, Bella. And it sounded very ominous, as if he was going to sort of get rid of her in the canal. So Nikki rescued Bella. Uh, that's the reason why we have her. So uh, Nikki basically saved her life. And at the time, Nikki thought she was going to be moving to a house. 
Um, so it would have been ideal, not a problem. Um, unfortunately, well not unfortunately, uh, we've met. So obviously now Nikki's living on her boat. Uh, and it's not the ideal place to have a cat really on a boat. And Bella is proving not really to be a boat cat. Uh, she has taken to killing water voles and field mice, which is what cats do. But she is falling in very regular. And we're afraid that one day we're not going to be there to pull her out. Nine times now we pulled her out. Um, so it's in her safety. So I think she's getting rehomed. She's going hopefully down the southwest into Cornwall. So we'll see. We'll see what the future brings. But uh, obviously we love her and she's a lovely cherished little cat. But I, I would hate the thought of uh, seeing her drown. No, no. So we'll see what the future brings.